Hey everybody, welcome back to day three, Breakfast with Bob from Hotel West in beautiful Nice. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are brought to you by Master Spas, S Fuels Go Longer, Hoka Let's Fly, DeBoer Wetsuits, Form Smart Swim Goggles, Zoot Sports, the original triathlon brand, Quintana Roo, Premium Plus Sports, and of course, our Challenge Athletes Foundation, our next guest, two-time Ironman world champion, Mr. Patrick Lange joins us. How you doing, Patrick? Bonjour. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> it was so good to see you. When we were here in like January, you and Sam Laidlaw were like going out on the check out that the Nice course. What do you yeah. think of this bike course? Yeah, pretty epic. Uh, first of all, I think it's a, it's a completely new challenge to all of us. Yes. Um, we never experienced a race in a world champion format like that. So uh, it's going to be really, really challenging and hard to predict as well. Yes. So of course we have our numbers and we uh, try to stick to them as much as possible. But if Magnus goes, he goes and we have to uh, like kind of go, uh, with, him. go with him. <laughs> so it's gonna be really interesting. And so um, being a uh, part of uh, a first world championship somewhere uh, is like, it's a new challenge and it's uh, interesting and uh, excites me. Well, and being able to ride, how many times have you ridden this course? Um, about five times. Oh, five times. Uh, like the whole loop five yes. times, I would say. And um, uh, the other times, like we, we uh, had like specific tasks. Uh, right. we, we had a really like German engineering it, mindset. Just sort of the double that. secret stuff that you could tell me, but you'd have to kill me type I of thing? No, no, yeah, like um, uh, two, two, three months ago, I would like, <laughs> 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 would have to <laughs> like, uh, we were really secret about uh, what what's going on, um, but now I think we can talk about it because um, the setup is yes. set uh, in stone for for Sundays. And obviously, we had the idea to combine the aero, the, the canyon aero, the road bike, yes. um, uh, with with uh, with a TT bar. Yes. And so to save weight, um, so we went to the wind tunnel, we went to the velodrome, and. Uh, we did a lot of uh, computer simulations wow. and uh, yeah, it's like F1 tech. That's all so in. cool. That has to make it fun too. It is. is. Like if you're interested yeah. in, in yeah. like the technical aspect yes. of things, it's, it's, uh, it's super interesting yes. and it's, uh, it's great to be part of because uh, yeah, when I w uh, back in 2016, when I um, first raced an Ironman, like they, we were like miles away from that, but now you can do so much and so we gathered all the data and the funny thing was uh, there was actually no difference it was literally like 15 seconds or something for over the whole course but with between those bikes really yeah yeah so did you end up going with the road bike even no uh, you, you because the then we did the real world tests and yes. uh, we found out wow it's like mind-blowingly <laughs> faster <laughs> so, you so do it's all interesting we do all that stuff like we do all the testing and Again, it's like it's it, it, it at the end of the day it comes down to athletes feel racing how how yes. like how how can you uh, uh, feel the course how does you adapt right. to the position the position yeah. you're used to then the crosswinds the bumps the everything like that you cannot um, uh, 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 you're not going to do anything in the laboratory to exactly, figure out how exactly, to handle the bumps exactly. or the the turns yeah. or if it happens to be wet out there all that stuff oh how you pray, but, you pray, pray to God no that's, wet. Wet. Yeah, yeah. Oof, that's gonna be also, uh, yes. uh, that's gonna be awful. So now, yeah, we we got uh, we go with the with the road uh, with this <laughs> sorry with the time trial uh, yes. bike with the Speedmax and uh, obviously like uh, throughout all the unnecessary weight yes. like titanium bolts here and everything like um, yeah uh, it, it, that is so fun challenge. though because when, you, when you've done Kona as many times mm. it's hard to learn new things because mm. you've been on the course so many times mm. the race has been happening so many years. But this is a one-off, right? You're not, nobody's gonna be back here for the guys for two years. Exactly. So the first time ever off the big island, which obviously suited you right from the beginning, you know, third to first, right, right off the bat, you did well there. This course, do you feel it suits you with all the climbing, a, like, close to 8,000 feet of climbing, and mm. then a flat and fast run that will be hot, mm. which you do mm -hmm. well in, yeah. I say, yeah. Again, like uh, from from the p from a pure paper perspective, yes, I think this race would suit me even better than Kona. Yes, um, I think what what really drove me in Kona was always my passion for the race right. and the I, history, like, the, the history, all of it. Yeah. Like I always wanted to be um, 
a Kona uh, a world champion. Yes. I wanted to be alongside the big names. Uh, it, my heart opens up when I see the, down the Promenade d'Anglaise, like the, the, the big pictures of all the world your champions. your picture there. Yeah. It's awesome. Like it's, two it's stars. Still, yeah, you, two you, stars. You, you another one would be, another few would be good. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm working for that. I'm working for that. So, um, no, obviously, like, the, the, the passion for the race, I think, drove me uh, a big time. Um, but if you look at the pure, like, uh, characteristics of, of Kona, yes. um, it wouldn't suit me as much as this race here. Because power-to-weight ratio is a bigger yes. factor yes. Uh, here than in uh, Kona. Yeah, because you think about it, in Kona, that is a power person's bike course. Absolutely. That like is really set up for Magnus, really set up for a Cam Wharf to yeah. just really yeah. put your head down and go. Absolutely. And, and not a lot of thinking. Here, you have to be on it the whole, and even on the downhills, it's pedaling. <laughs> You're not, you're and not. And then you have to be so focused all the time because this, like, uh, there are speed bumps everywhere, like yes. corners, sharp corners. You have to break. <laughs> you have to, honestly, you have to know the course. Um, it, it, it's you, yeah. completely necessary to, to actually, uh, Kenyon did like a video, like they mounted the GoPro. Yes. And they rode the whole course and they sent it to, to all the pro athletes. Yes. And uh, I downloaded it and like have it on my iPad and watch it over and over again. Watch, watch it over and over again just to know uh, it like front back out of my Isn't mind. Isn't that you know? funny? That's like in, in other pro sports where, where they're the value, they've got the, the tablet and they're evaluating yeah. everything yeah. and looking at so this that gives yeah, you the I, capability absolutely like um again like the the, the synergy of um the sports uh, popped up t again in the preparations yes. i have trained a lot with uh, pro cyclists i learned to descend with uh, them oh, so did like you take some pro cyclists out or you met with uh, some no 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 that was back uh, at home uh, uh, back at home in salzburg exactly and um when they have a course like that like they say they they put the the course in segments yes and they you, you probably know the stickers on the stem, yep. stems so they put the sticker and they know exactly which segment they're in and which power numbers they have to put in and right. i think that's uh, also something that's that we new could for us exactly because yes. in kona it's just Power, yes, Get one as number. Arrow as you can, like stay on your bike if there is a crosswind. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully, the, the, when you're heading out the Javi, you don't lose much time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and for me, also down the hill in Javi was actually for me even more uh, important because uh, because on you're a lighter 65, guy, sixty-five uh, kilo. Yeah, yes. The the Harvey crosswinds like they will absolutely like blow me away if yes. they won. So I need to tuck in there. Uh, and it's not technical, you know, you not still have to put in the power right. and, you know, the more downhill it is, it yes. is like, uh, and it's a straight um, uh, a road, then yes. obviously my, my weight is not really beneficial. No, no. no it's just physics. And yeah. that's also why Magnus is in, in Roth is <laughs> on the bike. He's almost impossible for me to beat. Right. You have to be, f you have to be honest with yourself because he's like, what, 80 kilos. Right. And. Um, we talked after the race, and uh, actually he pushed less watts per kilo than I did. Yeah, well, but that's still rode me by like ten minutes. <laughs> exactly. You know, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So how can I? You can't do that. Yeah, yeah you can't handle that. So but that's also another right. uh, a technical. Um, but you had a great ride in Roth. It's actually Sam Laidlaw pointed that out. He said, you know, people talk about myself and Magnus and the great ride we had. Well, look where Patrick was in the ride. He wasn't that, you know, he was, he was back, what, 10 minutes, but 10 minutes and that was in front of everybody else. Mm. So, you know, he's like, hey, that, that guy's the, from his perspective, you got to look at Patrick as the guy here because of the hot flat run and because he climbs as well as anybody. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that, yeah. Uh, uh, and you rode with Sam, Sam on that. this course. So you guys, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was the <laughs> early on, right? That was right last January. When it was January. Yes. Uh, actually, he was in, uh, on the TT bike back then. I okay. was on a road bike, and yes. that's where I first noticed, ah, uh, I think TT bike is <laughs> probably best because it was really hard to hang on yes. to Sam. Uh, but yeah, um, as he said, like the, the, the power to weight ratio should play into my cards, yes. then I need to uh, play them as, uh, as good as possible. I love that. Um, when it, it was really fun watching at Roth when Sebi came across the line and you and Jan went out there. Because mm. if you think about it, 
from uh, what 2014 to 19, you three guys won every Ironman World Championship. Yeah, that, that's that's the, great. The, the, <laughs> right? German domination. Uh, and that had to be pretty special knowing that Sebi was hanging it up, and now you got Jan hanging it up here. Mm. But I think Jan's coming here to win. It's, I think it's a little, a little different. Absolutely. Yeah, don't you think that this is knowing it's his last race and knowing he's never going to go to a starting line, he's not ready to win at. You, mm. you think he's going to be a factor as well? Oh yeah, he's going to be a huge factor, of course. Yes. Like uh, every start line that Jan is towing, you can be that sure that he will be uh, yes. a give give everything he has and uh, b will be perfectly preparation. Uh, prepared so uh, yeah uh, he he in my uh, calculation yes. is definitely the, the the biggest favorite for this race who else are we obviously joe skipper and mm. cam Worf will be a factor big time and uh, are we missing anybody in terms of who is going to be because when i look at the results when i'm preparing mm. there's so many guys now mm. and we just saw it at 70.3 worlds first and third <laughs> I, the I told you that guy is good. <laughs> Did you tell me that? <laughs> yeah, Rico Bogen. Like he, we raced in Greichgau. Oh. And everybody was like, who is that guy? Yes. So, and uh, he like, he is 22, what years? Yes. Of age. and yes. He's he a baby. He, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, kind of. But he raced with such, such a, a young. Smart, smartness as yes. well. Like, um, so he was... Going into the race for me as uh, one of the favorites. Yes. And um, yeah, it, it also brought back some memories from 2016 where Jan, Sebi and I were on the podium. Yes. And now I see the, the, the young guns uh, again. It's like, uh, like. That's good uh, to see. Yeah, it's really good to see. I was wondering where that was going to come from because you think of yourself and Sebi and Jan. Nobody's getting any younger. I'm like, where's that mm. next generation? Because mm. we're talking Norwegians, we're They're talking the, the Danes, but the Germans are coming as well. Oh yeah, yeah. there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a there's a uh, a big vir vir uh, um, uh, yeah like pool of, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of of athletes that I see coming. Um, I wish that we would have like um, women as well, like yes. young grown uh, yes. up Besides women. Besides Annie Hogg, and uh, yeah, 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 we need yeah, some, yeah, some more. I think we need to bring more women into the sport. Also, in, in Germany, Germany. It's, a, it's, it's kind an of issue. a factor. Yeah, uh, absolutely. But from the men's side, like I'm really happy to see. Yes. Uh, of course, my teammate Freddie Fung from Edinger. Uh, he's an absolute powerhouse on he the is. bike and bringing that he brings together like uh, a race like that like it was really cool Jan Stratmann who's uh, was the same coach as I oh um, okay so we trained uh, in uh, in winter together and uh, I knew that he was absolutely um, yes strong and uh, in training he was always there yes but uh, never really got it uh, uh, transferred into a race and seeing him a uh, race like that like was really cool so i i'm not worried about yes. uh, the next generation they'll be fine yeah the the cool part is from th you seem to be really energized by this new challenge by the fact that right this is it's a new place <laughs> to have a world championship. Yeah. It's a, a different challenge. I love the fact that you've been doing all this studying. I'm riding with pro cyclists. Uh, you, you sort of had a formula for Kona, and you have to rip all that up and start over here, which mm -hmm. has seemed to be a lot of fun for you. <laughs> yeah, it was, actually, yes. Yes, right? So, um, yeah, uh, if you raced Kona uh, that many times, yes. um, it, it never loses its, its energy and its uh, its greatness right like obviously um, I if, if, if I would to have choose uh, then I'd rather be in Kona right like I stick to that opinion sure uh, I, I, I also too. think yes. that um, women and men need to race together Same. I agree uh, so it's I think that's uh, a community it's a family yeah Everybody you should know be together. It, that, I agree. That what also what 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 makes our sport so mm -hmm. so cool like equal price money yes uh, like gender equality is a, is a big factor and i think also uh, in the tv coverage we can like profit from each other no question because it's eight hour and you can just you have like, plenty of if, time to cover if both the, if the people uh, switch on the tv to see um uh, jan and patrick racing you can also see anna and daniela racing yes. so uh if if you ask me, I I wish back like the the old format. Um, I do too. Yes. And uh, but 
still, I'm I'm excited for the new challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, in my mind, I think uh, if I'm able to pull out a good race here, um, it shows actually that uh, I can perform in in different, different parts ways, of the yes. world. So right. I try to take away the positives. Yes, you know, so. Um, uh, of course, the, in the, in the first moments, I was like a little bit yes. frustrated right, from the yeah, decision, yeah. but uh, yeah, you have to you embrace uh, it right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like and move on. Yeah. Um, yeah. How fun would it be to get off the bike and have you and Jan and Magnus all sort of close together and having a, a, a nice little run to the finish? Yeah, that's obviously that. <laughs> that's my goal, my big goal. <laughs> yes. I don't think the. The guys, uh, they don't want, want you around. On the bike. No, they don't want you. They don't want you in the same zip code. They want you back up on a mountain somewhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, that's what I think. So um, yeah, I, I try to work my ass off uh, in the mountains to to be in contention to them and uh, then run as hard as possible. Yeah, and this is is this a type of run course where someone could break two thirty? It is. Like if you look on the paper. Yes. Um, so. Um, we need to see uh, how much energy uh, yes. and fatigue you're carrying so after 2,500 meters of, of climbing. Yeah, another know. 30, 40 <laughs> minutes of ri bike riding. Yeah, exactly. Right? So yes. uh, I think it's, it's uh, as you mentioned before, like the uphills are really important, but the downhills are also important. Very and important. they are not really like energy saving uh, no. downhills. You're pedaling the whole time. And you have to be focused all the time. Yes, and you you know like that takes energy. <laughs> your your brain is also using a lot of sugar, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's so. I think um, yeah, you have to be hundred percent focused, yes. and uh, it's gonna be. Um, I think one uh, factor for the race who's yes. gonna deal with that and who who's gonna recover in the downhill as much uh, as possible, right? Uh, to have a full tank uh, yes. to go on the run course, and then. Of course, if you look on the map, it's like what 100 meters of climbing yes. uh, uh, elevation, it's nothing. Um, but to be honest, uh, I prefer a run course where it's a little bit undulating because, because I always different think different muscles, different muscles, yes. exactly. You, yeah. you use a different movement pattern from time to time. Right. You run a little bit downhill, you right. can you can just change your right. your your running form a little bit and play around with it. So. Um, I'm not making up any excuses before the race, yeah. so uh, I think um, if you just p look purely on the on the run course, it's it's fast, but um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a big challenge. And the other part of that run course, because it's four laps, you're mm. gonna have crowds everywhere. Yeah. Where it, in Kona, sometimes Good you can point. you can focus on your own thing and. Dry, you know, you, because you see that first mile in Kona, mm. a lot of people go out of their minds because mm -hmm. they haven't seen crowds mm -hmm. for that whole part of the bike ride. And now all of a sudden <laughs> people are screaming and people are running 30 seconds a mile faster than they should be yeah, running and the race it. is over, right? <laughs> yeah. You've done that. Yes, I know. No, I didn't do that. Oh, no, the I other always, guys. I kept guy myself together. I know. I like, okay, you run, you run, run we'll see, you, see you in the energy lab, guys. <laughs> That's right. People were running away from you off the bike. They were like, yeah. take it off. They're like, what were they thinking? But that's the one thing is, is here, <clears throat> people could totally get out of control with the mm. crowds cheering for them the whole time. Possibly, yes. Yeah. So what would it mean to you to win your third Ironman World Championship <laughs> here in Nice? Yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, it would be uh, proof that uh, you can win everywhere. Um, so uh, it will make... Uh, me like kind of a, the, the complete athlete I think yes so uh, it would mean yeah a lot like uh, honestly the last uh, five years um, after my uh, uh, 2018 Kona mm -hmm. win um, hadn't been the easiest uh, I think we talked a lot about it yeah. so I don't want to go into yeah. much detail and um, but, but, but I feel like right? I, I yeah like I moved on and I I worked myself out of this little, little rut ditch yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, you're all feel ready I I feel ready I feel really good uh, coming into this race um, I'm hundred percent sure that I did everything you did all the prep exactly so um, for me it's it's go time and um, I'm I'm happy to race and it's it's also really really important for me to kind of look forward to the race, not be uh, anxious or right. anything like 
yes. just focused and 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 I'm 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 really all in and and ready to go. So yeah, would mean yeah, would mean a lot. Like who wouldn't say uh, uh, anything different? Like it's three's it's, it's always better than two. And that's <laughs> us absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the calmness comes from the fact that you did all the prep, right? You yeah. examine the course. Should we use a road bike? Should we stick with the TT mm. bike? I've trained with the cycling group, and they showed me how they attack downhills, how they attack uphills. You've made yourself a better athlete through this process. Absolutely. And now all you got to do is go race. Yep, exactly. <laughs> that's. Uh, the perfect uh, summary for that yeah love it patrick as always thank you for taking so much time thank you for being such a class act appreciate all you do for the sport my man thank you thank you very much <laughs> patrick lange has been our guest two-time ironman world champion hold on everybody we'll be right back